as soon as you get a little hope, reality sets in and kicks you right in the... Well, tonight we're putting a spotlight on a striking pattern of racial disparity among those getting COVID shots here in America. Data from the 23 states that report COVID vaccinations by race and ethnicity show communities hardest hit by the virus are falling far behind in vaccinations. CBS's Adriana Diaz continues our series, Vaccinating America. Blacks and Latinos are more likely to die from COVID, but less likely to be vaccinated. Early vaccination data shows that black Americans lag significantly behind white Americans. Take Maryland, where 63% of doses have gone to whites and 15% to blacks, though they make up 31% of the population. In Texas, partial data shows that 9% of vaccine recipients are Hispanic, though Hispanics are nearly 40% of the state's population. I do not feel that we in Southeast Austin have the same access to the vaccine. A disparity Austin City Councilwoman Vanessa Fuentes sees in her mostly Latino district. We don't have the traditional infrastructure of hospitals and pharmacies. I live here, you know, it's more convenient for me here. 85 year old Virginia Robinson was among the first to get vaccinated today at a new priority pod set up at the Tuscany Cove Apartments in Liberty City. I was telling all my friends about it because they said they had a hard time getting it. So it made it easy for you? Oh, absolutely, positively. I don't want to sit in the car for three hours and I didn't have to. Communities of color have been underserved in the vaccine rollout areas home to people more susceptible to serious complications from the virus. But research shows black people are getting vaccinated at a much lesser rate than white people. As of today, 1.6 million doses have been given statewide, but only 73,000 of those were black compared to more than 945,000 whites. We're not trying to underserve people. We're trying to overserve. We just don't have enough food. So if we get the vaccinations, the vaccines, we'll be able to do the vaccinations. The numbers concerning in Miami-Dade County where just 10,000 black people have been vaccinated compared to 106,000 white people. In Broward, nearly 12,000 blacks have gotten a shot, but far from the nearly 90,000 whites. And in Palm Beach County, only 4,000 blacks have been vaccinated. There, shots are only available at Publix, stores absent in predominantly black communities. You can blame a lack of access to inoculation sites and skepticism about the vaccine among minorities as the root of the problem. We're doing everything that we can in different parts of the city to make sure that the most vulnerable in our community are being vaccinated. I feel good since I took it. I'm more lively today. About 300 shots were expected to be given out by the end of the day at that apartment community in Liberty City. City leaders and even county leaders say as they get more doses in from the state that they should be able to expand these vaccination sites. But here at John Mullen Park, we know that just in a matter of days, people will be able to, by appointment only, arrive via drive through here at this uh, park to get vaccinated. Take Mississippi, for example. More than 3% of white people across the state got a shot in the arm, but just 1.3% of black people. Same story in Florida, North Carolina, Nebraska, and Indiana. Every state that gives us data broken down by race, there's a dramatic disparity. And nowhere is it more stark than in Pennsylvania. There, data shows white people are vaccinated at a rate four times higher than that of black people. With one group of doctors working to bridge that gap, here's NBC's Priscilla Thompson. Well, Chef, those numbers are very concerning, particularly for the doctors who are on the ground doing this work. It's why the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium stood up this clinic to get those shots into the arms of black folks. Uh, they've already vaccinated hundreds of people at this site today, and more than 16,000 people have registered requesting an appointment from this organization. And Dr. Ayla Stanford, who founded this program, says that she needs more support. Take a listen. I need more vaccine. I need more personnel. And I need sustainable financial support. Because right now, everything we're doing is based on my bank account. Right now, we're the answer for every need in the community. Every need.
We're the answer. Latinx community, it's us. Homeless, it's us. Black, it's us. And the Biden administration has promised 100 million shots in the first 100 days, and they have promised to distribute those in a way that is equitable. And as for Dr. Stanford, she says that she is hopeful and optimistic about what the administration will be able to do, but that she'll believe it when she sees it. These are mostly states with Republican governors. The other states haven't provided any data. We have to wait to see what they say. By the time regular Americans get the vaccine, it probably won't be the mRNA vaccine. Interesting, right?